We are at the former site of Iverson Movie Ranch. There were over 2,000 movies filmed all around this location right here. The Lone Ranger is one of them. The Lone Ranger rock is behind my head, I do believe. There it is. Tons of movies. Zorro's Cave was in here. If you like old westerns, you've seen this place numerous times. Numerous! So many movies were filmed. All the outdoor scenes up in here. The Lone Ranger, the rest of the show was filmed all through these rocks and so many other movies. It's so exciting. Today we're checking out the Lone Ranger Rock and we cordially invite you to come along for the adventure. Come along. Clayton Moore, who is the main character in Lone Ranger, made sure that this area behind us remained undeveloped. Yeah, we'll flip around right over here and we're gonna show you. Look at all these houses up here. This whole area has turned into a bunch of houses that have been built all over the areas that were once these rocks that were used in the movie sets. Now they were thinking about developing this whole area here, but he said, you know what? That Lone Ranger rock and all these things are so important to the history of film. So many stars, John Wayne even, and all these big stars have performed and worked out here in these rocks. And he said, we got to save it. We can't allow the development. Sure enough, he and along with some other people were able to stop the development throughout much of this area. So you can kill, kill, you can still. You don't want to kill anybody out here, but you can still come out here and check it out. All right, we're, we got no trespassing sign. Look how they've implemented the rocks into the pool area over here. The rocks from the old movie set. They've created a pool out of it. It's cool how they use the rocks all throughout the neighborhood. Not just the pool area. <laughs> over here as well. And over here. Such a neat looking display. Yeah. Love the cactus makes you wonder do these people realize who live here how many stars stepped foot on their property in the past how many stars filmed here how many movies and tv shows were made here do they sit inside these houses and watch those movies if they know these things and try to line it up with the structure in their front yard i know i would i'd do it every day <laughs> Until Heather told me to stop. <laughs> Which probably wouldn't take too many days, would it? <laughs> probably not. Not too many days. <laughs> wouldn't get away with it for too long. No way. I'd do it every day, though, until she said enough. If you were a bachelor, it'd be a whole different life for you. You could stare and try to figure it out. <laughs> That's right. But quit dreaming. <laughs> we're walking down, trying to find our way down there. There's the housing development. And you can still see that they've built up the retaining wall right through here. We're trying to find the right way. I was trying to go down a really stink, stinky embankment. <laughs> really steep embankment. <laughs> I can't talk anymore. Worn out. We've been doing a lot of walking today. We did Charles Manson story today, which we, we got that up on the channel. But anyway, so we're worn out. We've been hiking all day. Hiking. How are you doing back there? Man. <laughs> you know what? I got these pointy cowgirl boots on and my feet have been cramped. There they are. Right up in here, my little piggies are crammed up in here. Not the best walking. I've got new ones on. They don't look so new already. It's hard to walk in new shoes. The side of my feet are hurting. All right, so we're catching our breath here. We're walking toward the Lone Ranger Rock. Man, this show was one of my favorites as a kid. I used to have this whole thing like, man, I really want to see this guy without the, you know, without the little mask on, the little burglar looking mask. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, it's like, man, he's got to show himself. I really I enjoyed did. watching the show too with my grandparents. I've watched a lot of old westerns and well, I've, he was a big fan of Clint Eastwood. And yeah. I bet Clint Eastwood also filmed out here as well. Every time we go to Heather's grandfather's house, he's got us watching westerns on the TV. Oh yeah, <laughs> cowboys and Indians. <laughs> yeah. So we're making our way down here. I can't even see where uh, something cool I've spotted though down here, I believe. Pretty sure. This is the cave from Zorro. This is the Zorro cave that we have come across. Right down here, let's show it. Not sure if it was Zorro or something else. If you know, tell us in the comment section below. I know there's a Zorro cave out here somewhere. That could be it. But we're not gonna take the walk down there unless Heather wants to. Well, I think we have to go down there to get on up there almost. To where the rock is where we're going oh. that should be interesting very interesting all right we're gonna get our bearings <laughs> come right back and figure this out stay tuned 
Okay, we're back tracing our steps now. We got down there, and it's a big old mess. Big old mess. Beautiful out here, though. Very gorgeous. It's a big old mess to try to get through. There's all kinds of down trees and different things. So we're gonna try a different method here. Still trying to hurry to get to another location before the sun is gone completely. That's right. This is not going as quickly as we'd hoped, but we're gonna get there. Here we go. Come along. Okay, we came in behind the house, right in here. Heather's a bit skeptical about this. Very skeptical. <laughs> Going to people's backyards, kind of. Climbing through the backyard here, but it appears to be the best way down here until we get thrown out by somebody. So we're gonna try to get what we can before we get thrown out. Here we go, down the hill. Oh, my goodness. We're really gone. How you doing? You gonna give it around? Well, you <laughs> You don't wanna be filmed. <laughs> this is no filming right now. So we'll just, we won't tell her we're still filming. We're not gonna tell her. Shh. Nobody tell her. All right. Onward we go towards one of the most famous TV rocks of all time. I see it. It's beautiful with the setting sun and the sky above it. The Lone Ranger rock. Let's get a little closer. Crazy to think about how many stars what do you think about that, Heather? How many it's stars? It's really crazy. But you know what? We're stars now, too. Oh, yeah. We're right here. So we're filming. We're stars filming at this location, too. It's crazy to think about how many real stars have been on this location right here. I've walked. Same steps. Taking the same steps we are taking. In their cowboy. Right here. Boot. John Wayne probably stepped right here. All right, we're at the Lone Ranger Rock. Right up here, everybody. Here we go. Hi-ho, Silver! Here it is. The Lone Ranger Rock. Hello. Wow. Wow, what a beautiful, breathtaking view up in here. It's gorgeous up here. <sighs> oh my goodness, there's our car right there. What a team. The Lone Ranger would have rode his horse Silver right through here and ended right, right here. here. That's where Silver bucks up into the air and the famous intro shot of the Lone Ranger was right here. The horse would have been up in the air with Clayton Moore on top, right here. Whee! At the Lone Ranger Rock, of course, he's shooting his gun and then he takes off right through here and down on through there. There used to be rocks you could see and line them up when we were looking online, you could see some of these rocks. I don't see them, this giant bush right here is growing up. Let's walk down just a little bit. Oh boy. Oh boy. See, he gets me on, he gets, gets us while we're filming so he can talk me into things because he you know I really can't say, no, <laughs> husband not doing that. So I don't know, I can't see the rocks unless it was further down. Could have been down there. Of course they had this whole area cleared out back then. Plenty of room for silver to come riding through. They also used a whole bunch of other shooting locations when they were chasing the bad guys. All through in here. Tonto was his buddy. He always called him Kimosabi. You remember Kimo that? Sabi. Kimosabi. Kimosabi, Tonto, and Silver. Hi ho, Silver! Hi ho! Away! And he's shooting his gun. What an important piece of television history. Right there. Hello to Heather's grandfather. Hi. And I know, grandmother. 
and grandmother, I know you guys definitely know that rock for right sure. there for sure. Uh, he that was one of his favorite shows, wasn't it, Lone Ranger? Yeah, yes, it was. Yeah. Oh, we're seeing a little remnant of a rock over here. This could have been it. There's some kind of rock markings you can see when the Lone Ranger rides through. So that would indicate that he may have ridden through right through here by this rock right here and up to the rock up there for the high ho silver moment of the show. Incredible. So cool to actually be here. It really is. Let's take another look at, there it is. Thank you to Clayton Moore. Of course he passed away sadly, but he saved so much of the movie history in here. We don't have time today because we got to finish up our Charles Manson story. Spawn Ranch is not far from here, not far at all. We're going to find the baby caves next, the Sadie baby caves. We got a lot of excitement in that story coming right up. So we don't have any time to finish up anything around here, but it would be so exciting to go through here, line up old movies. Like, what do you think was filmed by this rock over here, maybe? Do you know? Do you? I don't know. Do you know? <sighs> no, not no. really. We don't know. But any number of movies were filmed right on this ground, right here. What were they? Anyway, we'd love to line it up and do a whole Bonanza. story. Bonanza was out here, yeah. Yeah, that was fun. We'd love to line it up and do a whole story. I think way back in the 1920s when they started filming out here. And actually this ranch got so overfilled because they were just filming here all the time. And uh, that's what you read about Spawn Ranch starting. Yeah, Spawn Ranch actually was, it was actually built or put together because when this spot was- Iverson Movie Ranch. This Iverson Movie Ranch. All right. <laughs> was overtaken and it had a lot of filming going on. They had to put the access in the Spawn Ranch and tell them to go film there. That's right. So that's how Spawn Ranch got its start. And there was quite a few filmed at Spawn, at Spawn Ranch. At Spawn Ranch as well. Spawn. We thank y'all for joining us for this video. We got to run back over before the sun goes down. Finish up that Charlie Manson one. But y'all be... It? Can we make it? Can we? Find out on our Charlie Manson video about Spawn Ranch. One more look at... The Lone Ranger Boop. Rock, right above Heather's hair. Here's the Lone Ranger Rock. Did you ever think your hair would be underneath the Lone Ranger Rock? Because I certainly didn't. No, no way. Y'all be sure to hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you can come along with us on future adventures. Come along for show and everything and all that. Yeah. Lone Ranger Rock. One more time. One more. Yeah. yeah. See y'all.